off is increasing the pressure on fresh water resources in much of the world, especially with more demand for water as populations increase. Discharges from the world's greatest rivers result in deposits of dissolved nutrients and minerals in the oceans. The freshwater flow also affects thermal haline circulation patterns, which are driven by changes in salinity and temperature, and which play a vital role in regulating the world's climate. The total discharge from the world's major rivers is 20,608 cubic kilometers per year, and considering the world's oceans cover an area of 361 million square kilometers, this too equates to raising sea levels by 0 0.06 meters per year, or about half the projected total. According to the World Water Council, 1.4 million people a year die from diseases linked to unsanitary water. The problem is getting worse. An estimated 20% more water than is now available will be needed to supply the needs of the 3 billion additional humans who will live, be alive by 2025. Harvesting a portion of the world's fresh water flowing into the oceans before it becomes contaminated with salt and contributes to sea level rise is one approach to tackling this problem. The world's glaciers are melting at higher rates. Snow and sea ice reflect from 85 to 90 percent of the sun's rays striking the earth, while dark surfaces such as water and land reflect only 10 to 20 percent. This reflectance is particularly important in the circumpolar regions where the atmosphere is thinner and there is the potential for a greater number of the sun's rays to hit the earth. This is the primary reason the polar areas of the globe are feeling the effects of global warming the most. Another factor in increasing rates of glacial ice melt is atmospheric pollution. Most fossil fuels are not clean burning and small particles of soot rise high up into the atmosphere. Much of this pollution lands on polar ice which makes the ice darker in color, reducing the albedo effect. The sun's rays are absorbed by this darker colored ice which heats the ice causing it to melt. Glaciers are thick packs of snow and ice that are found in polar and alpine regions of the world. They are made up of ice that is very old. Generally when glacier ice melts, it is the newest ice that melts first. Old ice is the ice that is greater than 6 years old and can be 12 to 15 feet thick. In recent years, the National Snow and Ice Data Center reports that whereas old ice was pre previously made up 20% of all glaciers, it now comprises only 6% because of increasing ice melting. The Greenland ice sheet is melting faster than previously calculated according to a scientific paper by the University of Alaska at Fairbanks. The study is based on the results of state-of-the-art modeling using data from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change as well as satellite images and observations from on the ground in Greenland. The total amount of Greenland ice sheet freshwater input into the North Atlantic Ocean expected from 2071 to 2100 will be more than double what it is currently. The current East Greenland ice sheet freshwater flux is 257 cubic kilometers per year from both runoff and iceberg calving. This freshwater flux is estimated to reach 456 cubic meters by 2100. The most recent study suggests sea levels will rise by 35 to 63 inches by 2100, far more than the 2007 projection of 7 to 23 inches made by the International Panel on Climate Change due to melting that is far more rapid than was previously expected. Part of this meltwater could be harvested in the same way as river runoff to be put to productive use. To bring remote offshore power produced by OTEC to where it is needed, ocean water can be converted by the process of electrolysis to the energy currency hydrogen and oxygen. This conversion of a portion of the liquid ocean into gaseous components would reduce the level of rising oceans by the volume of water converted to gas. Only the hydrogen, which is one 